Mitch is one of the most iconic vocalists in metal, and while he's sadly no longer with us, his music and phenomenal vocal performances will live on forever. In this clip, we get the privilege to watch Machine take Mitch's incredible vocals to the next level with a relatively straightforward but intentional processing. Check it out and enjoy. Vocal time. Y'all ready for this? Fuck yeah. All right, Mitch. I love Happy Mitch's to mix vocals. you, buddy. Miss you. Happy to work with you again. So to start, guys, let's look at this. This entire vocal bus to start is outputting. The entire bus is outputting at 32. It's like the whole thing is just to start going to the total outsides. So then 31, which is the bus to my insides, is is what's on, which is on the bus. So I look at this as like 32, it sits there, floats independently. 31 is is like glue to the mix. That's the way I am, am, imagine it. I do want it to be mostly on that side. I'm going to do like a little glue like that. All right, I'll show you how little it actually is. So here's a loud vocal. If I muted the total outsides, that's all I put in the that's all I put in the inside. So if, if vocals are adding up, and if there's a big vocal section, it's and harmonies or doubles and it's adding up. It's not going to add too much energy to that inside and then pull down those guitars or fuck up other things. This all started, you know, when I saw these problems, it's like with like heavy singers, it's like the way they just get swallowed into the track. I was like, no, there's got to be able to keep it low, but make it float on top. And another thing, total outsides, that makes that work. So let's start by getting some buses that i usually often use i'll show you what these are when we get to them we're good try to initially get through these seeing of these individual channel strips as quick as possible got my menu right here ready to go we do not need low we don't need low end subs and many things guys but we certainly don't need it in a vocal my god my god my god my god i think a lot of you guys may know this plugin i love this plugin on vocals but I, it's so extreme right al this is so over the top yeah it sounds like it's exploding i know but I, this is how i like to use it i like to i like to use it as like um its own like subtle mix blend it almost like it's like so extremely compressed and you can lower the body it almost makes like an exciter like it's so dense in the mids it almost makes like an exciter sound on the vocal and then i blend that in so i'll show you i'll go hardcore my god my god roll off body and now just my god my god and now just mix it in slightly. So it mixes all the way off now. My God, my God. And now let's distort the vocal, but not necessarily how you would think. So I, I want to add distortion, but what's so great about Decapitator is I want to, it's hundred percent wet right now, right? I want to focus that distortion in more of the low end than the high, than the mid range and high end. My God, my God, my God, my God. Not bad. My God, my God. My God. Okay. Now I'll go completely dry my God. and I'll just blend in the low end distortion to this picture. My God, my God. So now I don't really have the appearance of so much more distortion, but it's, it's denser and sits in the mix better. Toggling it off and on, right? Off. They just turn that shit on, just dense, sat there. That's kind of smart. I'm like filling in the holes. Like it's obviously naturally distorted in the mids because he's screaming. And that's what that is. That's mids and high end coming from his throat. 
I'm kind of turning into a full more full more distorted picture this way. All right, so I'll show you these. Uh, I'll show you these effects. One is this um, kind of quick reverb, very bathroomy sounding. My God, my God. Right, almost on and off, my God. but subtly makes a real cool thing. My God, my God. Next is this slapback delay, real quick. My God, my God. I'm gonna use that very subtly too. And then 15 is just a standing chorus, like a stereoizer. And it's funny, it all sounds more stimulated and nice, but it doesn't sound that wet even at the moment, even though I put those three things on there. And this is like a mono delay I love. I'm gonna pan this lead vocal ever so slightly off to one side. I do lots of little pans. Little delay. Nice. Moving on. Lower vocal. Take some of the delay off that. So this is tripled, meaning a mono center and stereo double. How am I going to treat those doubles? I don't need this crazy gain reduction compressor. Where is it? Silver compressor. <laughs> Too good. I don't want it's compressed or distorted, but I will DS the shit out of it. And why is that? Because it's a double, right? The flaming S's of the doubles, if I overly DS, like overly DS, I'm pulling those essing attacks out of the way. So it's like when it's a regular tone, I feel I feel the double, but it it, it makes it sound a little tighter by the attacks and S's getting ducked out of the way. So I'll do a, a, a quite a bit of the S'ing to a double. This is so good excitation. Range six, no, let's bring it down twelve. This is so good excitation. This is what we have become. This is so good excitation. This is so good excitation. This is so good excitation. Right on. This is so good excitation. This is so good excitation. This is so good excitation. I would have to automate that because when these doubles fall off and that single's there, it's low. And then the doubles swoop back in. See you guys? Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, mentality of the guitars and those snares. Here's this one mono double placed on a stereo track. Bug it. New track. There it is. And 
I'll put more stereoizer on that. Okay, here is a stereo bounce of up vocals. All right, so check this out. Now, this is a stereo track. I want to compress it. I want to show you guys. How often do you guys think to use dual mono versus stereo? Good question. I'll tell you why. I'm going to, use, I'm going to show you why dual mono is going to work. So th this is this is a group of in, in your vocals. So what's happening left and what's happening right are unique. That's stereo. What's happening uh, both left and right identically the same. That's mono. All right, I know this is stupid talk. I know this is stupid guy talk, but this is smart to talk like this because it kind of drills these concepts into your brain. So this is stereo, which means it's independent. That's what makes it stereo on the left side and the right side. There's only two speakers. So let's see what dual mono would be like in one plugin, two individual compressors working independently. So couple these together, do your job. I don't know if it's going to allow me to copy it, but let me take a regular stereo. Let's see if I can shoot out. Well, let me, no, it's not going to let me paste it. I'm just going to copy the settings, right? We're all good. Same. It looks the same. All right. Let's see what we can hear. So a left and right acting together, like locked together, like old school wagon where there's a bar across the wheels and when one side bump, they had to move together or independent suspension, a modern car. This wheel has moves. This wheel moves. The front wheel moves. The rear moves. Independent suspension. So that's what we're dealing with. So independent suspension. Why job, why job. Dependent suspension. Why job, why. Obviously, I don't know why it's quieter though. Why job, why job. But yeah. And it really makes a difference in your stereo. It goes a poof on your stereo. Apply this stuff to mastering. Oh my God. Like, yeah, like dual mono, dual mono compressors and dual mono limiters on your stereo. This is a major difference in the perception of your stereo. It's here in the track. One. really sparkles out there, right? Nice. I actually don't want the vocal that wide, <laughs> but I wanted to show you that. I will hand some of that in a little bit. Sick. Now, let me apply that bad boy to these. These also are like a low and a mid version of the same type of screen. Scream. Let's make the mid wider. Let's make the high. The low there. delay because I'm a delay holic. <laughs> <laughs> 